Where's your boy toy gone? Jungkook came in and sat on the bed with a curious look on his face. You bit your lip nervously. I, um, I choose you. You whispered shyly, catching his full attention. You are staying. His features immediately softened the tone of his voice. Switching from grumbly and cold to warm and vulnerable, you nodded slightly, staring at him while patiently waiting for his reaction. So does this mean we are back? His big eyes stared at you. You let out a laugh at Jungkook who was struggling to hide his excitement. I guess so. You uttered to him with a warm smile. A big grin appeared on his face as he pulled out his necklace. I fixed it a while ago, like a day after you left actually. Jungkook stared at his chain with his big brown eyes staring at you in wonder. Well, I may have carried my bracelet around everywhere. You blushed embarrassed, taking your bracelet out of your purse. He took the bracelet out of your hands and clicked it back into your wrist where it belonged. Jungkook, you sighed, not wanting to say what you was about to. I don't want to be with someone who's afraid of being with me in our home and outside of our home. You stared at him straight in the eyes. I need you to let me in. Let me take care of you. You almost begged him. Because before it was torture not knowing if you were a thing or if you were sleeping with other women. I don't want that. I want you to. Suddenly he kissed you, making your heart race at your stomach flutter. I'm all in. He reassured you after breaking the kiss slowly with a serious tone. You gave him a soft smile, earning a gentle look from Jungkook. He doesn't smile when he's happy. He doesn't cry when he's sad. But he definitely hurts people when he's angry. Jungkook, how are you? You asked after a moment of silence. He threw you an unsure glance before grabbing his journal and opened it, skimming through the pages. Tell me, you shut the book forcefully before he sighed reluctantly. I was doing fine, he grumbled quietly before reopening his journal. Not taking that as an answer, you shut the book on him again. He widened his eyes out of annoyance. You raised your eyebrow, giving him a serious look. Well, I'm still grieving, if that's what you want to know. Jungkook is starting scrubbing stuff down in his journal. You admired his veiny arms up to his concentrated yet perfect face. Are you grieving healthily? You flung one of his pens from his nightstand at him. You barely missed him making you laugh. He stared up at you from the journal before giving you a smile. You smoked at him grabbing his hand and playing with it. You intertwined your fingers with his. He was quiet and focused writing down his thoughts. And probably his emotions too. You drew tiny circles on the inside of his palm while he wrote with his free one. You st uh, started to massage his hand, getting a half of relief out of him. He put down his pen and closed his journal. At least you think it's a journal. Do you want a shoulder massage? You giggled at him, watching him almost fall asleep. Oh yeah, he groaned, sitting up at and letting you slip in behind him. You massaged out the knots in his back. He was almost mourning from how good it felt. Does it really feel that good? You massaged his neck. Yeah, he, he replied, sounding like a zombie. You know, massages are better if you are naked. You whispered playfully in his ear from behind. His eyebrows raised. He took his shirt off. Did you miss me or my abs more? He joked. Your abs. You said with a straight face. He gave you a surprised look. I'm joking, but not really. You winked at him, but he didn't care. He was too happy with his back massage. I'm going downstairs. You coming? You hopped off the bed. Nah, I'm going to write some more. He lay down. Okie dokie. You uttered and he snickered in response. You cringed so hard. Why did you just say that? 
forgot I say that you glared at him warningly. You sat downstairs and no one was here. You watched TV while Jungkook was upstairs writing. His house was so calm when a million people ran running around. If we get a house together, no one else is allowed in it. It will be peace and quiet all the time. No distractions except our kids. Of course, you suddenly realize what you was thinking about. What I am doing, we are not even properly boyfriend and girlfriend yet. Jungkook doesn't date, he sleeps around and when people find out he has a girlfriend, they will all be questioning you and him and relation between you both. You stared at the TV but you was distracted by your constant worries and thoughts. Wyan, you heard I say, to see him eating grapes out of a little ball. I don't think I have ever been so happy to see someone in my life, I exclaimed, happily hugging you and handling, handing you the bowl of grapes. You frowned your eyebrows and blinked a few times at the ball. Ice, are you feeling okay? You questioned him, your voice raised slightly to show him you was curious. I am completely fine, Ice smiled happily almost laughing. I thought you hated me, you blinked confusedly at him. I did until Jungkook became a complete and utter mess without you. He chuckled happily sitting down on the sofa across from you. He was a mess. You threw a grape into your mouth. I have never seen him like that before. He wouldn't get out of bed. He wouldn't shower. He wouldn't talk. He would mainly work when he get, did get out of bed and we couldn't find you so far. For ages, so he was a mess for a while. Ice expressed his concern to you. You stopped eating the grapes once you re realized that Ice was serious. So you are telling me he was broken without me? You questioned him, not sure what to think. A lot more than usual. He spoke while nodding slowly. Wyan is back. Ice spoke to someone behind you. You turned to see the young grabbing a drink. He had a red cast on his arm. Oh, Jungkook also broke Taehyung's arm and almost beat him to death. Ice added like it was no big deal. You covered your mouth with your hand. He did this because of you. It was my fault. Taehyung shook his head taking the blame for Jungkook. You knew Jungkook could be cruel but hurting Taehyung was just merciless. Why did he hurt you? You threw Taehyung a puzzled face. Oh, you are going to love this one. I sat back with a smile. The young stared at floor before looking up at you. I told Jungkook I didn't like you being here and that he was getting soft. The young sighed regretfully. And you folded your arms waiting for the rest. You knew that wasn't all because you know at least 10 people have probably said that to Jungkook. Then I told him I only said that because I, he paused, because you what, you hissed at him, Be because I was developing feelings for you, Taehyung spat out hesitantly. I'm sorry Taehyung, but Jungkook is my home, you shook your head slightly shocked. You never expected Taehyung to fall in love with you, yet he somehow ended being the trigger for Jungkook, more than likely reassuring Jungkook that he would destroy you or you would destroy him. Basically, you were jealous so you destroyed me and Jungkook's relationship. You said blankly to Taehyung who stared at Ice. Ice just shrugged in response, seeming to have no care of the situation. Yeah, he nodded. You just shook your head and walked away. 
You was about to go up to Jungkook when the bell rang. You ran upstairs to get Jungkook but he was out of his room by the time you got to the top of the stairs. Let me see, let me get it. Jungkook announced from upstairs jogging down to open the door. He had a serious look on his face. He opened the door and you saw two people wander in. Jungkook the man nodded at him. Hey Jungkook the woman smiled hugging him. Jungkook being slightly shocked by the sudden affection. Oh yeah sorry the woman smiled before pulling her hands back for getting that doesn't He doesn't really like any human contact because he just doesn't like people they greeted eyes and tail the man was tall and had big broad shoulders like Jungkook but was still more manly he was attractive and was obviously athletic or worked out often like Jungkook the mo- woman was beautiful she was gorgeous she had light brown hair and a and a smile that could light up on entire room if it wanted to they had suitcases with them suggesting that they were staying for a while then in a blink of an eye te- two teenage boys walked in no i'm going on a date with her the brown haired one exclaimed one of them was identical to who you are assuming was their father but the other had blonde hair and blue eyes No she's mine the blonde one challenged him would you two shut up the man snapped at them no the both replied the man looked like he wanted to kill them woh big guy take a step back i'll give them a talk later the woman reassured reassured the man who was coming down the man scanned the room and he locked eyes with you you was standing slightly behind a wall at the top of the stairs Who's that? The man asked. You shook your head at Jungkook. She is um why and Jungkook didn't know how to respond. She is his girlfriend. I smothered with cheeky smile knowing that it would annoy Jungkook. Jungkook John has a girlfriend. The man chuckled jokingly. You are no better there was once a time when people thought the exact same thing about you. The woman warned the man while crossing her arms shutting the man up. You really like this woman. She seemed strong and fearless. Jungkook appeared in front of you. He is a bit intimidating. You are still peeking out from the top of the stairs. Do you think I would ever let anyone hurt you? Jungkook raised his eyebrows at you cushionly. No, you sighed defeatedly coming out from behind the wall. Jungkook led you down the stairs. Hello, I'm Kim Kai. The man introduced himself. He held out his hand and you shook it his hand basically engulfing yours. You're scaring her, Kai. The woman warned him. Hello, I'm Jisoo Kim. She said as she hugged you. She radiated happiness and she seemed so warm. Wait, you guys are the Kims? You gasped at the realization. Yep, Kai uttered sitting on the couch with a groan. You slowly stood behind Jungkook. He was very intimidating. Yet this woman wasn't scared to be around him. You all ended up sitting on the couch. I'm Grace Sun, but people call me Grey. The brown-haired teenager introduced introduced himself. I'm Chase, and you are the blonde one. Shook your hand. Very attractive. Grey winked at you. Grace Sun, come go upstairs now. Guys, why is Deepen to sound demanding? Is scaring me when you. Grayson stood up and basically ran upstairs. I'm sorry about them. Jisoo ch- shook her head embarrassed. It's okay. He's a typical teenager. Reminds me a bit of Jungkook. You know that. Don't mind my brother. He's a bit too forward like our dad. Chase rolled his eyes. But my brother is a good guy. He just doesn't like to show or uh, show it. Chase shrugged. Also, the guy in him, Jisoo responded with a gentle smile, glancing at her husband. Are you guys friends with Jungkook? You questioned them curiously. Yeah, we used to live near this area and become family friends. Then we moved across the country and visit every so often to make sure Jungkook is doing okay. She explained. Meanwhile, you was wondering if they were owned a mafia. Are you guys a part of the mafia? You questioned, knowing it was probably rude to ask. Oh yeah, of course. Jisoo nodded, confirming your suspicion. 
We also heard about Jungkook's mom and we didn't want him to be alone. She uttered with a sad face that was nice of them. But we just told him we were coming for a visit so if you wouldn't mention. Mention the last part to Jungkook it would be appreciated. She smiled ever so slightly at you. Yeah of course you responded with a nod. There was an awkward silence for a second. So you and Jungkook huh? Jisoo nudged you, making you smile slightly. I don't know, you sighed, staring at Jungkook and Kai talking about killing people. Let me guess, he is an asshole who doesn't want to be loved, Jisoo uttered questioningly to you. No, you shook your head, he is an asshole who wants to be loved but is scared because I am probably the first good thing to ever walk into his life. You explained to Jisoo who just listened. Now I have no doubts you and Jungkook are made for each other. She smiled at you reassuringly. How do you know? You looked at her puzzled since she had hardly saw Jungkook and you interact. Because me and Kai were made for each other and I tried to give up, give up on him more than once. But he would crawl right back somehow finding his way into my life purposely or accidentally. When I look at you and Jungkook, I see a younger version of us. Different but two people who will be together forever and that answer you give it means you understand. Understand him. All I can ask you to do is to not give up on him. Jisoo spoke so passionately about Kai. So I have heard stories about you and Kai, the two epic mafia lovers. You finally let it out before you burst. Can you tell me one? You asked like a child, almost jumping with, jumping with excitement. She let out a chuckle. There was this guy called Derek. He was in our inner circle. I'll keep this short because I, it's very long and depressing. But basically he kidnapped me, Kai and my son Grayson. We were so dragged, drugged up that we could barely stand and Derek told me that I had to kill my husband. Well, at that time, boyfriend. She shrugged like it was no big deal. Kai was going to let me kill him. I had the knife at his chest. I was shaking and sobbing. I was a mess. She giggled while we were so intrigued by this story. But then our friend saved us and we left. She smiled at you. So we were okay and we lived happily and had another child together. You glanced at Chase, puzzled. No, I am the odd one out. Chase smiled but you could tell it was forced. I told you to stop saying that. You are just as much my son as Grayson. Jisoo kissed his forehead. Thanks mom, he smiled. Grayson wouldn't even let me kiss his forehead. That's how bad it's gotten. Jisoo sighed hopelessly. Mom, he's fine. You are overreacting. Chase rolled his eyes as he pulled out his phone. Shit, Chase snapped standing up. Language, Kai snapped at Chase. Sorry, Chase sat down with a huff. What happened? The girl was asked to the dance already. Chase replied disappointed. Maybe it's for the best. Me and your mom never had much luck at dances. Kai smiled at Jisoo who chuckled at his response. That's an understatement, Jisoo said Chase looked disappointed. You are cute, someone will come around. You ruffled his blonde slightly curly hair. You, he gave you a smile and response. What age are you guys anyways? You asked him. 14. Chase replied quickly. He stood up and stretched. Dad, I'm going outside to play football. You coming? Chase asked, rooting through his bag and grabbing his football. Yeah, Kai stood up, dragging Jungkook along with him. Help! Jungkook mouth to you. You gave him a smile along with a shrug, causing him to trip over Kai for not paying attention. Jisoo and you laughed while Jungkook just lay on the ground. Seriously, Jungkook, Kai rolled his eyes. Kim Kai, I'm warning you, don't play rough with them, they are just boys after all. Jisoo teased Jungkook. You saw Jungkook become angry and respond with I'm not a boy, look. 
you let out a giggle. Well, at least parts of me aren't. Right, Wayan? Jungkook winked at you. Jungkook winked at you, grabbing the ball and running out to the back, uh, back garden. You blushed as Kai, Jisoo and Chase all stared at you. Cross Jungkook, I didn't have to know that. Chase scrolled at Jungkook, you hear Jungkook's laugh. His laugh was very rare to hear. Jungkook John, get back in here and apologize to your girlfriend. Kai chased after Jungkook. Jungkook has a chance to be a boy again when Kai is around. Kai is basically Jungkook's father that he never had. Jisoo replied beaming as she watched him play but out the back, considering Kai is a real piece of shit. Jisoo noted Kai came back in holding Jungkook by the back of the neck, forcing him to come inside. Said Kai glared at him. I'm sorry, Jungkook responded, staring at Kai. Jungkook knew that he wasn't stronger than him. You are sorry for what? Kai raised his eyebrow curiously. For the comment I made, Jungkook said reluctantly. Okay, Kai, let him go. Jisoo peek girl grabbing Kai's hand, completely taking all of Kai's attention. She had him wrapped around her finger. I love you, she whispered to him. I love you more. He kissed her. Not possible. She broke the kiss but continued to hug him. Hey, I wasn't finished. Kai grabbed her face, pulling her back and she smiled into the kiss. You stare at them in awe and Jungkook saw you staring longingly at the happy couple. He walked over to you, his hand brushed off yours, telling you that he wanted to hold it. You smiled slightly, intermingling your fingers with his as you both watched Kai and Jisoo. You lay your head on his shoulder. I'm not sorry about the comment, Jungkook whispered to you, causing you to laugh. Jungkook leaned his forehead against the side of your face. You turned your head towards him, catching him gazing at you. You saw something in his eyes you have never seen before. You can't explain what it was, but you never wanted it to leave. He inched closer, practically begging you to kiss him. You hated when he did this. It was agonizing, waiting for him to kiss you. Kiss her, Jungkook. This is killing me. Jisoo shouted at him while looking Kai. Jungkook smiled at you. Is this annoying? He questioned with a smirk. Yes, it. He pressed his lips against yours, quickly breaking it after. This is so gross. Jisoo walked back outside with the football. You should probably go for play football, you said as he stared intensely at you. He nodded but pegged your lips again before running out.